do is heal. We use two um, pieces of scientific machinery in the back. The first is a centrifuge. We can uh, treat them with an enzyme that, that breaks down the pulp in the juice. And then we use wine fining agents to sort of uh, flocculate those together. And that spins at about uh, 4.5 Gs, which is about four and a half times the uh, strength of gravity for about 20 minutes. Centrifugal force causes all of the particulates to push down to the bottom of the bucket and allows us to pour off clear citrus juice. The other piece of machinery is called the rotary evaporator. It allows me to distill um, essential oils and flavor uh, compounds from foods and infuse that into uh, spirit like gin. So we have a drink called the All Tame No Flame, which is on our experimental menu. And that has a habanero gin. As I can blend the habaneros into the gin and I get all the wonderful fruity floral aromas from the, the pepper without any of the heat. You need to fill the champagne tube up with ice. Then we build the, with the liquor. This is the habanero gin that comes out of the uh, rotary evaporator. Um, all the flavors of the, uh, the peppers with zero heat to it. So we'll do an ounce and a half of that. Then we will do an ounce and a half of the clarified grapefruit juice. Then we do a quarter ounce of uh, Lillet, which is a French wine aperitif. And then we'll do an ounce and a quarter of filtered water. Then put the top on. Make sure it's nice and sealed. And this is high grade, uh, food grade CO2. We'll give it an injection. You can feel the pressure build up in there. Then give it a shake. This allows the um, temperature to drop and the CO2 to dissolve into the solution. Give it a vent. Uh, get some, that's all the air going back into it. So we give it a couple more dashes and it, it pushes all that air out. Give it a little roll like that. Vent it. And then give it a final injection of CO2 just to make sure we have the maximum amount in the solution. Get a chilled flute. And oh, we vent it slowly in the last opening so that we don't ruin all our sh uh, carbonation work. And you can see when I pour, you can already see these really fine bubbles coming through. Those are nice, soft champagne bubbles. And we'll pour that out. Then you have the all tame, no flame. And to use those machines, um, you get to maximize these flavors and you get these textures and aromas that are delicate and subtle and, and present in the drink and they make you pay attention to them.